Hi again, everybody. Ty Linder coming at you from the home of the track and field indoor champions for this week's flashback. Four out of the last five years, the Golden Flash's women's track and field team has reigned on high as MAC champions and coupled with a second place finish by the Golden Flash's men, KSU certainly has staked its claim as the best all-around track and field program in the Mid-American Conference. To Akron we go and a look back at a championship run that featured four individual MAC titles by the Golden Flash's women. The most outstanding track and field performer, Shaniqua Williams in the 200, Kimberly Preston in the pole vault, Penny Achayo in the triple jump, and Minnie Sonner in the 800. All the fun wasn't had though on the women's side of things because on the men's side, the Golden Flash has got 20 points alone from the high jump crew. And they had the individual champ in Kenny Ag, And what head coach Bill Lawson calls the always difficult daily double, Princeton Bryson wins both the 60 and the 200. And speaking of Coach Lawson, we congratulate him on being named the outstanding track and field coach of the year in the Mid-American Conference. It certainly was a fun weekend over at Akron for the Golden Flashes track and field program. As we mentioned, four out of the last five championships on the women's side come right back here to Kent State. Now this weekend for the Golden Flashes track and field team that you expected to be a letdown, not going to happen because it's the last chance weekend to qualify for the indoor NCAA championships. The Golden Flashes will split their athletes between two different places. The Alex Wilson Invitational at Notre Dame in South Bend and the Virginia Tech Qualifier in Blacksburg. We'll have results on how that went next week. From track and field indoors, we move into the arena where it'll be a big week for the Golden Flashes basketball teams. We start with the men. We'll have two home dates this week, beginning on Wednesday as the Ohio Bobcats, the MAC East's hottest team, comes to town fresh off a 24-point triumph over Akron. On Sunday, the Bobcats will come roaring into the MAC Center where Kent State is still in search of two things, a 20-win season and a first-round tournament bye. The homestand will then wrap up with a regular season finale on Friday night against the Akron Zips in another PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge event. Kent State will then await its fate in the Mid-American Conference tournaments, which begin next week in Cleveland. On the women's basketball side, and speaking of the PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge, Bob Lindsay's crew with a huge one-point win, surviving a frantic final minute at home to knock off the Akron Zips. 77-76. They get the wagon wheel point and more importantly snap a seven game losing streak. Golden Flashes will wrap up their regular season on Tuesday night against Bowling Green at the MAC Center. Again, nothing has been decided at the MAC basketball tournament for the women either. Kent State could possibly and conceivably host a game. We'll have results on that next week as well. Fresh off their regular season MAC championship, the Golden Flashes wrestlers will head to Athens in the Convocation Center for the Mid-American Conference Wrestling Championships. It has been condensed to a one-day event at the Convo Sunday, all day. Down in Athens, we'll have the results of that as Jim Andersey looks to complete the double sweep for the first time in a long time, winning both the regular and conference tournament. The Mid-American Conference has been allocated 20 NCAA championship Births. We go outdoors now and take a look at what the softball team did. Golden Flashes women back in action after a week off, winning three out of their five matchups in Raleigh, North Carolina. Some pretty big name opponents fell victim to the Golden Flashes this weekend as KSU beat Lehigh 9 to 2, North Carolina State the hosts 15 to 8, and Georgetown fell victim to the shutout 8 0. KSU will see matchups with IPFW, Bucknell, and Marshall, former Mid-American Conference member, as their season continues down south this weekend. Another fast start for Scott Strickland's baseball team, winning four of their first six matchups last week with the upset of then number nine Georgia Tech. Maybe it wasn't an upset. Who knows? KSU wins 5-0 in that one, goes 2-1 and one on the weekend. Now the pressure's on to back that up. Right back down south, they go to face a Lipscomb team that had one of the better team ERAs in the early season across the entire Division I college baseball landscape. And after losing a tough one late 2-1 on Friday night, KSU rallied to win them both 
on Saturday and Sunday. The Flashes win going away on Saturday 16-3. And then the shutout thanks to Tyler Scalina and the bullpen on Sunday 4-0. They'll head back south, this time to Bowling Green, Kentucky, to face Western Kentucky. Flash has had some success last time they were down there. They'll try to do it again and continue a very good early season start. The Golden Flash's gymnastics team able to finish second out of a field of four at the North Carolina State meet this past weekend. So now with that in the past, Kent State gets a chance to rekindle an old rival as in-state foe Ohio State will host Kent State on Friday night, 7 o'clock, in Columbus. Results and pictures of that next week in our flashback. And the men's golf team finished a respectable eighth place. The field was 24 at the Wyoming Desert Intercollegiate. The Herb Page team will have a chance to be off this week, at least from competition, but be back in action a couple of weeks from now, and we'll have information on that next week. So as the weather starts to break a little bit as we head into the month of March, we certainly hope you'll have a chance to come out and support any of these fine Golden Flashes athletic teams this week or even next. So for all of us, and once again, we congratulate the Golden Flashes track and field teams on an outstanding weekend over at Akron. Ty Linder with this week's Flashback. Go Flashes!